Hello everybody, that's Bill. Uh, I come down here to uh, this is kind of a little fishing spot that's a creek near my house. Uh, you kind of hear the traffic passing over here. I uh, thought I'd come down here maybe see what kind of resources I can find and maybe collect me some worms uh, for some fishing this weekend. Uh, got a neat little trick for you on that one. So let me show you a neat little trick for collecting worms. I don't think today's going to be much fishing. Now I'm going to you can see that somebody's left a pretty good mess here. Um, this I did not bring my pack or anything today. The only thing I've got on me is my camera gear. So probably going to utilize a couple of these items. Probably that guy right there, at least. And that right there. And I may come back down here later and pick this stuff up. And like I said, I didn't bring a bag with me, but. At least they put it in a pile. Okay, let's go catch some worms. Alright, found what I was looking for. Right here. Walnuts. Still on the green husk. I'm going to gather a few more of these and show what we can do with them. Alright. Collected a cup full of green walnuts. Let's see if we can get down here away from the traffic a little, a little ways and a place where I can get to the water a little bit better. And I'll show you how we're going to catch worms with walnuts. No, we're not going to pop them in the head. Neat little trick. Down to the water to get some water. Alright, get these walnuts back out of here. Okay, we're going to save this cup of water here for a worm bath. It's after we knock them in the head with the walnuts when they come up out of the ground. Kidding. Okay. Now you could get a little stain on your hands doing this, so do it at your own discretion. And I'm just going to put all these green husks right down in there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and break the rest of these up and uh, I'll show you how we're going to catch worms with walnuts. You know what? I might come up with a better way of doing it. Alright, well we got the walnut husk in here. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and pour this water out since I put the walnuts in. Just in case it already tainted this water. Since I'm so close to the water here. And uh, <coughs> try to get some of this off my hands. It's a good spot to get some worms. It, it wasn't really prepared to come down in here. Believe it or not, I ain't even got a knife in my pocket. All I've got is camera gear. Uh, this right here might be a good spot. There's a the guy right there. Not a worm, but one of those snoopy things that are everywhere. Getting him out of the way. I don't know if he's gonna like this stuff either. Alright. Let's try this again. Tried it once over there in the, in the spot and it just didn't work out too well. Um, there just wasn't any worms there. There might not be none here. Put it right underneath this thing. Good 
generally don't take them too long to come up. There he comes right there. So we'll go right there. Let's get our cup out so we can give him a bath. There's two of them come out right there. Those little guys, but they came out. Let's go ahead and wash them off. guys they're coming out I don't see no night crawlers yet thought I'd try to share the worm catching idea with you uh, that second spot I tried uh, they were uh, half a dozen little ones come out but uh, it works pretty good worms don't like it to come out of the ground if you find the right spots, you'll get some nice night crawlers without even doing any digging. You know, if the, if the walnuts are available and easy to get. That was another trick, too. I mean, it's illegal. It's probably illegal just about everywhere. Uh, matter of fact, I got some comments from some people that primitive fishing was illegal in their area. Well, I think what it's referring to is fishing with walnut husk. So walnut husk the natives used to put them in like baskets and like slow moving currents in water they dip them husks down in water and it paralyzes the fish and makes the fish boat up so that's probably what's illegal about it about primitive fishing probably not so much gourds fishing uh, I haven't really looked into it that much but I do know that you can't walnut fish here um, I can't poison the water and I wouldn't want to either. But that's a method and it's not poisonous to humans. Uh, but worms don't like it either. And generally if you find the right spot, those guys will shoot up out of the ground. Like that one spot did, that just wasn't big. Alright guys, I'm going to head on back. Thanks. Alright, like Robert says, you know the drill. See you guys.